I'd like to introduce Jeannie Island. She is a contemporary indigenous British shaman. She is offering ceremony to us, a way to honour the living land and our grief at the loss of so many of our animal and plant relations. She is calling on the wisdom of the trees of the ancient sacred groves to strengthen our purpose towards halting the destructive behaviours of our culture and reweaving our connections. To all of you, to all of you who have travelled here today, to all of you who have travelled here today, bringing with you your love of the land, your understanding that we need her for all that we are, and your wish to protect her, welcome. We are all children of the earth. We depend upon her for all that we are, all that we need, all that we have. We are privileged to share this beautiful world with many, many relations. With the plants that clothe and feed us. With the animals in all of their glorious diversity. That walk and swim and crawl and fly in her waters, on her ground, in her skies. Together with those unseen beings whose mysteries we are only just beginning to fathom. We weave the web of life that has thrived on this beautiful planet for millennia. Somehow, on our journey, humankind has forgotten its kinship with the land. We have come to believe somehow that we are different, that we are separate, that we are superior to other life. We are not. We live, we are born, we die, just as does every other living creature. Together, we form the threads of a tapestry that holds the story of this world and this life. We have fallen out of balance, lost our way. We have forgotten how to live in harmony with ourselves and with the land. It is this separation that has led us to treat our planet not as home, provider, protector, but as a resource to be exploited. We have taken more than we have given. We have taken more than we needed. And this comfort and this wealth and this plenty have cost us more than we could possibly have imagined. We as a species have learned so many truly amazing things. But we have forgotten some very basic truths truths that our ancestors held sacred. Life is precious, but we do not own the land. We are merely its custodians and stewards for the next generation. Our ancestors did not view this planet as an inanimate ball of rock. They viewed her as a sacred, living, breathing being. And her sacredness was manifest in the bounty and beauty and splendor of all of creation. Yeah. I would call now on that ancient world spirit. Hear us now. Hear us as we begin to awaken to the perils we face. Hear us as we begin to see the unbelievable grief of what our actions have wrought. Hear us now. Lend us your clarity to see the path ahead. Lend us your wisdom to see the choices that must be made. Lend us your strength to do as we must, to stand as protectors of the earth. Oh. -ho. what has been done but we can do everything in our power to halt the slide into oblivion that is inevitable 
if we fail to stand against the insensitivity to the world, we have to remember who we are and what we need. We have to remember and awaken to what is happening and to the grief that our actions have caused. I would ask you now to think for a moment. Are we there? Yep. Yeah. I would ask you to think for a moment of what has already been lost. To think of the beauty and mystery gone forever from the world and to all of the species that have been so decimated that their very existence hangs by a thread. We are all threads in the great tapestry of life and for every thread broken, for every species lost, we are all made less. I believe some of you have got ribbons. Virtual ribbons. Virtual ribbons of different colours. Blue for the clear rivers and oceans of our world. Green for the plants all around us. Red for the living blood of all creatures. And black for the bitter sorrow of lives lost. Hold your ribbons aloft now. Hold them aloft and show the world your colours. Yay! We stand. I would ask you now to take a silent moment to mourn all the life that is lost already. All of the beauty and mystery gone forever from the world. Thank you. It is hard to think on these things. For myself, when I do, I'm often overcome with grief and shame and a terrible fear for the future. These feelings are natural, but we can't allow them to paralyze us. We must take courage and weave them into a tapestry of unwavering determination to stand against the apathy, fear and greed that prevent our, our human people from doing what we must. I would ask you to wear your ribbons, real or virtual today. These threads, a single thread is easily broken, but together we can weave a story of unbreakable determination to stand and protect our planet as conscientious protectors. Together we can change history. I call now on the blessings of the earth and of the air and of the waters and of the land. Be with you all today. May they protect you. Maybe they watch you. Maybe they stand with you as you stand as conscientious protectors. Determined, brave, unlimited in your actions. May the blessings of the earth be with you. Aho.